so let's learn about the suturing in the extraction socket how we are going to uh, do suturing it's a figure of eight that is most commonly given in the extraction socket so this is the extraction socket and i am going to give a little demo how to give a figure of eight suture so you will start from the buckle side again this is one you will go diagonally to then in the lingual flap only you will enter into the third point then you will come out on the buckle side so can you see a little bit of the cross here so this is called the figure of 8 this is the 8 ha happening there so this is number 1 entry this is the number 2 this is number 3 and this is the fourth exit point so so basically the the importance of the figure of eight suture is so this is not basically for the closure of the wound because this is not going to happen if it is a extraction socket this is for the protection of the clot because if the patient loses clot there will be high chances of dry socket I'm going to put a knot here and again I'm telling again and again that knot will be on the buckle side it will provide slight closure but it will cannot provide primary closure few extra throws So this is the figure of 8 suture. I am going to demonstrate figure of 8 sutures which are most commonly used for the extraction socket in a much larger socket. Entry from the buckle side. diagonally opposite in the lingual flap be careful about the loose end going to the third point of entry here you will appreciate the figure of 8 even more because you will be able to see it very clearly this is the fourth entry You have to go little deep, okay. Can you see a good figure of 8 inside? Now you will tie a knot here. This is how a good figure of 8 will look like. So, uh, this, is, this is the figure of 8 that we are looking for and this is how it will be done.